First tonight, a bizarre twist in the case of a missing local woman. Good evening, I'm Cherie Palala. And thanks a lot for joining us. I'm Mike Dardis. One of the last people to see 18-year-old Marina Bolter has died violently. WLWT News 5's Todd Dykes leading the way now with the strange new developments. Todd. Yeah, Mike and Cherie, it really is a shocking turn of events. And now everyone's asking if the death of 22-year-old DJ Lockhart is connected to Bolter's disappearance. Indiana State Police officials say they simply don't know at this point if there is a link. Here's what we can tell you about Lockhart's death. An autopsy shows he died of a stab wound to the heart. Police found Lockhart last night in a house in Bloomfield, Indiana, about 65 miles west of Indianapolis. No arrests have been made in Lockhart's death. Now, of course, he was Marina Bolter's former boyfriend and the father of her little boy. Marina disappeared on New Year's Eve after working a shift at a grocery store in Bloomfield. At that time, Lockhart told police that he saw Marina get into a car with an older man and watched as they drove away. Now, Marina's family released a statement after finding out about Lockhart's death. It reads in part, DJ's death comes in the wake of Marina's disappearance and as another loss to our sweet nephew. May DJ's family and friends find peace in this sudden loss. While police aren't sure if Marina's disappearance and DJ Lockhart's death are connected, that statement indicates that he was killed in what the family understands was a situation unrelated to Marina's disappearance. Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. All right, Todd, thank you. Police say they have exhausted all leads about the car and the man DJ Lockhart told them about after Marina disappeared.